Hello again, my friends. It is time for Tasty Tuesday. So, I'm gonna attempt this. This looks like, as far as the ingredients goes, it's gonna be one of the most easy things I've done as far as like actuality, as far as putting it together and everything. It may be a little bit interesting. So anyways, I just wanna say, first off, you guys voted and you won. Today, we're doing cauliflower breadsticks with all kinds of Italian thing going on and some awesome Italian sauce with it. Now, I'm gonna dig into this for just a second and uh, and show you kind of the components and everything, um, just to eagle eye view, and then we're gonna dig into this. So please get ready, here we go. So first off, let's look at these components. Hey, you guys, welcome on. Anyway, so of course we've got cauliflower. I've got some extra cauliflower here because of course I'm cooking this first batch for you know us here and then the second batch is for my kiddos. So I always have to do a couple batches. Actually today I'm gonna do three more batches after this one because one batch of this is a complete lean and green. So let me say that again. One batch of what you're about to see this um, cauliflower breadsticks is a complete lean and green. So this is your complete lean and green meal if you're on the program with us. Anyways, so I've got some sauces here. I'll explain in just a second. Each one, I've got cauliflower. I'm gonna have a cup of that and it's gonna actually be put through um, the grater. I'm gonna have grated cauliflower to make that bread. It's gonna be very interesting. Then over here, I've got egg beaters again. Those things are just absolutely awesome. So if you haven't used them, they pretty much, well, they're the healthier version of getting eggs. And um, for what we're gonna use today, one quarter cup of egg beaters is actually like one large egg. So if you need to swap it out, um, a large egg would be for this recipe. We're gonna have mozzarella cheese. Again, this is a skim cheese, it's a low fat, so we go for the lowest fats of things. And then of course, Italian seasoning and garlic salt. You're gonna need parchment paper for this. You'll wanna have a sheet pan for the second part of it. The first 30 minutes is gonna be done in a pan, kind of like this, or a bread pan, with the parchment paper in it. I'll show you all the parts in just a minute. But again, that's pretty much it. Before I get good and jumped into this, let me show you the difference between sauces really quickly. So I just wanna kind of give you some of the awesome, awesome, awesome background info on what we do and why we do it. So first off, let's look at this sauce. This is Rao's homemade uh, arrabbiata sauce. You don't have to get arrabbiata. We like spicy in our house, but this is a really great sauce. It's a hot sauce. This is what we're gonna dip the bread in. This is a more expensive sauce. Now, if you're just doing this at home and you're not going out or something like that, this is not that expensive. This is a great option. But if you're, if you're wanting to keep it cheaper and you saw that Rouse is a more expensive sauce, um, then another comparable sauce, believe it or not, is ragu. It's called ragu simply, no sugar added, 100% olive oil, chunky marinara. And that is an awesome thing, guys. Isn't it amazing some of the big brands are starting to get healthier? So this is a no sugar added option. If you look at the back and the ingredients in the back, it's really kind of close to this. So for you guys doing the lean and green for yourselves, you can do this or this. This is really close. So it's not exciting, but for ours, we're using the Rouse and the kids are gonna use the no sugar added ragu because they don't like spicy. Let's jump into this. First thing we need to do is we need to jump into the cauliflower and start getting it grated. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get our camera set here. I've already got my oven preheated so that whenever it's time, it's gonna be ready to go. I'm preheating it at 350. And so right now, let's get some grated cauliflower. I need a cup of grated cauliflower per serving. So get this real quick so I can say this is, this pan is a complete serving, so you get one pan of these breadsticks. That's awesome. I love breadsticks. And so, it's not really breadsticks, it's cauliflower breadsticks, but it feels like it, doesn't it? So anyway, let's get this cauliflower going. And Malachi's being really good. He's over in the other room watching cars, so I'm very thankful for that. I prepped less this time because there's a lot less components in this, and I wanted to show you how easy it really is all together. So I'm gonna chop down some of this so it's easier to handle for me. All right, so here's our cauliflower. Get these leaves out of here because I don't wanna grind them up in there, although they're not so bad. And then I've got this right here, clean this up. That's way more than a cup. This is gonna be a couple servings. So let's go ahead and grate it down. All right, you wanna make sure it's grated because um, 
the whole experience is supposed to be like eating bread, right? So just gonna grate down this half head of cauliflower and see if that gives me a good cup, probably more. Again, I'm gonna try to get the most in that cup I can because we love getting tons of green. We pack it down, we use it up. We wanna get the most out of it. Don't undercut your, lean, your greens. Actually on a lean and green meal, if you're on program and you're a part of our folks we coach, I just want you to know that we really mean it when we say get as much as you can. We want you to eat that complete lean and green. Sometimes it seems like a lot of food, and it is, and it's good because we need you to get it. It's what makes your body do what it needs to do. It's a good way to wake up that metabolism, and when we're eating lean meat and we're eating a lot of green vegetables, in a lean and green, you're getting three portions, three portions of vegetables, three servings of vegetables, and one serving of meat. And so um, as I'm doing this, I can kind of talk about it more, but the main thing to think about for your vegetables and the reason why we choose the vegetables, we choose like cauliflowers and broccolis and more of the green vegetables, spinach and that kind of thing, is because they're low glycemic. They're on the lower glycemic. Now on the other end of that, you've got carrots and corn and stuff like that. Also, we love the way those vegetables taste. They got good vitamins and minerals and nutrients, but they're higher glycemic and that's not as good for us. So we're going for the low glycemic for this, and that is it. There's our cup of cauliflower, and so we're gonna go ahead and take that and mix it and put it right in. This is gonna be a fairly, hopefully, quick experience tonight. I've had some long prep times for these Tasty Tuesdays. This one shouldn't be one of those. And now I'm looking and it says I'm adding the grated cauliflower, which is two greens, it, this counts as two greens, along with this right here being your third green. Your actual tomato sauce counts as a green. So there's two greens in there. Now we're gonna add one quarter cup egg substitute. So let's go ahead and get that quarter cup of egg substitute. Egg beaters, again, if you don't have them on you and you're not able to do it, one quarter cup of egg beaters equals about one large egg, a little bit over that. So here's one quarter cup of egg beaters is in there. That's that. Now we're gonna add two ounces, uh, I mean no, one cup or four ounces of shredded reduced, reduced fat mozzarella cheese. So this counts as a part of our lean. Our egg is about two leans that we did, and this is one lean that we're doing. So let's go ahead and get that in there. It's gonna be one cup we're adding. All right, let me get that up here so we can see it. There it is. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. Oh, actually, you know what, guys? I'm incorrect. It's one cup total. So let me get the one cup total of mozzarella. Oh, I remember the end. I'm glad I looked at my notes. Okay, so here's the first thing. We got that one cup. I'm gonna mash it down and get as much in there as I can. There's one cup of mozzarella in there. Now, it says to take out of that one cup, only three quarters cup. So out of the one cup, I'm gonna take three quarters cup and put it in my mix. Let me grab a, another cup here. Measuring cup, a three quarters cup. So now I've got my three quarters cup. I'm gonna take three quarters cup of that one cup of mozzarella, and I'm gonna be putting that into the mix. The rest of this is saved for the top. Put that back in there. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the mix. Three quarters cup is going in the mix, and it's staying there. And then um, from this point on, I'm gonna mix this up, and then I'm getting ready to put it in my pan. So we're gonna get that pan ready in just a second. This is gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And there's our mix. So you see how this is looking? There's pretty much the consistency. Oh my goodness. So this looks like it's gonna be a pretty awesome bread mix. I'm starting to understand how this works. After seeing how the souffle turned out a week ago, I understand how those egg beaters really do add that size and it's gonna puff right up. And I can see how the cheese is gonna bring this thing together. I understand. That's gonna be an awesome bread stick here in just a minute. So now it says that we're gonna take this and since we've done this, we're gonna line our pan with parchment and lightly spray it with our pan or our other 
um, adding. Now what I did here is I went ahead and cut, I went ahead and cut my parchment paper and I took the other pans in and I smushed it down. That's a little trick that might help you out there because parchment paper doesn't want to stay in there. So look, it's already mushed down in there. It makes it a little bit better so it'll stay. And the reason why the parchment paper is important is because at the end of this recipe, we're going to pull the whole thing out and set it onto a, cook, a baking sheet for the last part. So now I need to take this and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with Pam, which we've got um, a spray right here, or we use, I love using this um, extra olive oil or extra virgin olive oil spray. So we're using an olive oil spray instead of our pan. I'm going to be lightly spray that. Not too much. Done. All right. Now I'm going to lay this in here in such a way where it lays out kind of evenly. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Kind of even. Got plenty of space to put it in. We'll flatten it out in just a minute. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I know my kiddos are gonna love this. They love breadsticks. I don't know about you guys, but my household loves bread. It's been a hard thing to go through this era with as little act bread activity in my life. Um, and that's been harder on Lori probably than me by far because she loves bread. So this is a big win for her tonight, a breadstick experience. Now I'm gonna just get this in here Get it spread out evenly. We want it to be even. And then boom, there it is. It's looking pretty right on, you guys. There it is, look at that. You can also use a loaf pan. So a deeper loaf pan would be a great experience with this. I'm making sure this is spread out. The main thing is, is it should be um, like a nine by five loaf pan. And this is the opposite, it's less deep and more wide. So we got similar proportions, but we got it wider versus deep because we like the longer breadsticks. You can do the loaf pan if you'd like, just like they say. And there it is. It says, make sure that it says, it's okay if the mixture doesn't cover the whole pan, mine does. Now it says, make sure to make it even and don't let it be more than an inch to an inch half deep or whatever. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna set it in to cook for th on 350 um, for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for 30 minutes and then we'll talk about the rest of this. So let me go ahead and get this in the oven. Mine's already preheated. So I've already got one of these done, yay. Woo, I'm excited to see how that turns out in a minute. That's gonna be awesome. So let me, I'll say a couple more things. I'm gonna set my time real quick and then we'll sit here and talk for just a second. Timer. Isn't that funny? I just realized I'm still using the timer on the oven when I can say to Alexa to do it and she's already listening. Turn off. Okay. So anyway, here's what we're going to do with the rest of this. The rest of this time, we're going to actually be um, careful to watch it and make sure that it doesn't overcook. And so in like about, um, actually, sorry, Alexa, set alarm 30 minutes. All right. So let me actually rephrase that. It's not 10 that's on my oven, it's 30 minutes. We're gonna let this bake for 30 minutes. And then after it's done for 30 minutes, it's gonna start to rise. We're gonna pull the whole thing out and put it on the cookie sheet that I have right there. And then we're gonna literally make sure that it's, it, it looks right. We're gonna lift out the edges a little bit and flatten down the parchment paper. And then at that point, we're going to do another 15, 10 to 15 minutes. So the 10 to 15 minutes is at the end after that comes out. So that guy is baking right up right now. Oh, that's already looking good. And when it's done in about 30 minutes, I'll pull it out, set it there flat. And then at that last, I'll do the 15 minutes. Now, once it's done at that point, I'm going to get it out and cut it. After that 15 minutes, I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to add the rest of this mozzarella cheese on top of it. I'm going to add um, this right here. I'm going to add Italian seasoning and garlic salt to taste. So that's going to be just sprinkled over the top to taste. And then at that point, I'll set it back in for less than 10 minutes and let the cheese melt on it, the Italian seasoning set, and the garlic salt set. So let's be clear. I'll say it one more time. At this point, it's going to bake for 30 minutes. When we pull it out at the 30 minute mark, we're going to put it on the cookie sheet. And then we're gonna put it back in 
and let it bake for another 15 minutes. Once we pull it out at that point, we will cut it and we'll add our cheeses. We'll sprinkle our Italian seasoning and our garlic salt, and then we'll put it back in for a further 10 minutes just to get that melty. It doesn't have to be a full 10 minutes. Let it get melty on there. Now, all right, so we've gone through all of that. At that point, here's the deal. We get to talk about this tomato sauce. So in there, you have a complete lean and two greens, if you're on program. This is your third green. So a full serving for this is going to be, it says serving size is about a half, a half cup. So you're gonna have this now to dip those wonderful breadsticks in. You guys, again, I'll take you over here and we'll take a quick look because it's looking right. That is grated cauliflower. Boom, look at that, grated cauliflower. That's turning into an awesome bread right now. That's it, that's pretty much it. The breadsticks are, are baking. And I've got two more pieces of this, which I'll show you at each point through pictures. Lori is gonna come back in here and she will put an awesome little graphic of the recipe for this in just a little bit. And you can see it's that easy. Really all you're doing is grating some cauliflower, adding some cheese and some other stuff, putting it in, and then boom, you've pretty much got breadsticks. It's really simple. All right, with that said, here's the deal. Don't forget, every Sunday you get to vote on Lori's page on what the next lean and green that I will cook is so get on there don't miss out put your vote in for what you want me to cook and your vote is listened to I cook it on Tuesday and then also I want to remind you if this has been awesome for you and you've enjoyed it share this across your timeline let other folks get involved because we're trying to get America healthy it is so easy to prepare awesome healthy food you just saw me do a complete lean and green that's awesome cauliflower mozzarella breadsticks with an awesome dipping sauce and it was completely easy just took a few minutes you can do that at home yourself anyway with that said thanks for being on you guys are amazing i'll show you pictures of the finished project in just a few minutes have a great day awesome time with you awesome have a good day good night bye hey guys the live video stopped because i had to wait 30 minutes for this part but this part goes on. So I'll put this into the comments in just a little bit. I'll, I'll do this as a comment, but look here. This is the first batch. There's what looks like first round. It looks really good. It's about an inch to two inches deep. And now I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna place it onto the baking sheet. So that's the next thing we're doing here. Just gonna put it right over there, just like this. Oh, look at that, it worked perfectly. You guys, this is awesome. So. Now it's on the baking sheet. I'm gonna lift it and flip it, and then I'm gonna put it back in for another 15 minutes. So that's that, I wanna show you round two. Hey guys, I'm jumbled, but here's the next step. I just put the last bit of the quarter uh, cup of cheese, and I put the um, Italian seasoning and garlic salt on this one. It's gonna be done in a minute. This one still has 15, so I'm putting them both back in, and um, we're getting there. After that one comes out, this next time, it's done. And my timers are set. And that's going to be the end. Lori's going to put up a picture in just a second, but that's completion, guys. It's really cool. It's cauliflower breadsticks. Boom.